Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. Charlotte has the week off. Specialists across the state who work directly with people with Alzheimer's and dementia could lose their jobs unless funding is restored for them in the state budget. Political reporter Jess Garb tells us tonight about this very important issue, Jess. Well, yeah, dementia care specialists are a position that was created actually just about three years ago. They are some of the frontline resources for people and families dealing with Alzheimer's and dementia. Those families tell us they're afraid of what will happen if those positions are gone. Every day is you just you have to face a day with what's going to happen. Jane Quinn has been a nurse for 30 years, but she says she struggled after her husband CA was diagnosed with Alzheimer's two and a half years ago. It goes from being your husband is very supportive and very um, comforting and caring to at this point, it's like I have a little boy with me when I go places. Quinn called on Joy Schmidt at the Aging and Disability Resource Center, who is Dane County's dementia care specialist. You have a lot of guilt. You know, are you doing enough? Is there enough? Should I be doing more? What can I do? And she's always been very supportive and you're doing everything you can. The reason I do my job is because I love to help um, make this easier, um, this journey easier for both the person with dementia and for the family. Schmidt is one of 19 dementia care specialists across the state who also train everyone from police to bank tellers to pharmacists on dementia. But funding runs out at the end of this year. Governor Scott Walker says he instead prioritized funding for those working in long-term care facilities in his state budget plan. The number one thing we heard people talk about uh, dealing with long-term care was that you can have all the specialists and help and attention, but if you don't have direct caregivers on site and long-term care and assisted living facilities, uh, you got major problems. And so that's why we poured so much money into that. Aging groups are asking instead to put one specialist in every county at a price tag of three and a half million dollars. Schmidt says that will pay for itself. If we're able to keep two people living in the community for a year, it's paid for the position um, in our county alone. Jane Quinn is one of 4,000 people Schmidt talked to last year. I have a very strong faith. I have a supportive family. And still, the support that I received from the ADRC and Joy in particular, I really don't know how it had dealt with the situation if it wasn't for her. Republican Representative Mike Rorkast, who's chaired the state's dementia task force, tells News 3 he intends to try and restore and possibly expand funding for these positions. But at this point, he says that budget amendment would have bipartisan support. It's just unclear whether it can pass the Finance Committee. The governor told us today he would support it as long as his funding increase for long-term care workers remains. Important issue and one that we will keep a close eye on. Jessica Arp, our political reporter reporting tonight. Jess, thank you very much.